Campbell and the WRL team is wrapping up a five day epic Iceland adventure and they were part of the inaugural Iceland Air nonstop flight from RDU to Reykjavik. And Kat joins us now live from the Blue Lagoon where it is after 10 a.m. over there in Iceland. Kat, are those folks swimming out there? Or are they in boats behind you there? They're swimming. It is a geothermal spa out here at the Blue Lagoon. It's an Icelandic staple. And because it's a spa, including spa treatments, I figured I needed to look the part. And, you know, I needed to stay warm as well. I know that you guys have some record-breaking heat coming your way. It's about 55 degrees here, so quite comfortable. Let me show you around. It's a beautiful sight to see. You can see, actually, in that yellow vest, that is the lifeguard there, believe it or not. And looking at what we have have here you see the blue water so beautiful here that is caused by the reflection of the silica it makes it appear blue and the silica in the water is a pure mineral and algae and it has heating prop healing properties and anti-aging as well they let us in this morning before the blue lagoon opened officially and that is a big deal we were able to give you exclusive access so i want to show you some of the photos we took on the ground the videos this morning our tour guide was so impressed that they let us come in before they opened because typically that's against the rules but they watched our coverage they let us in and let me tell you about this water you can see the steam coming off the water it's 100 degree water heated by geothermal energy right from the ground but they have to cool it down some and they do that by using natural seawater and it's just so beautiful here the silica the algae and they're renewable it's a renewable resource the geothermal energy that that they have here and the algae they don't want the algae to take over so they actually remove it and use it in their skincare treatments it's incredible they have a skincare bar you can get massages in the water i won't be doing that here but it would be cool i'll have to make it back and you can even get health drinks and smoothies uh, they accept about 2,000 people a day and it's usually fully booked so this is a popular spot that you just have to see when you come in iceland they do have longer hours in the summer these days and that's of course because we have 18 hours of daylight right now and they have full daylight later in the summer months so you can go pretty much any time of day and it'll be light outside. You do have to schedule appointments if you want to come here so just remember that. But boy, is it a beautiful sight to see and I have to tell you guys where we are standing right now, it's on the the balcony that Beyonce stayed at. So how cool is that? It's just beautiful. We're sad to leave, you know, no volcanic eruption. We did have a couple small earthquakes yesterday. So it looks like I've got to get back on my flight back to Raleigh this afternoon. I don't think the volcano is going to be keeping me here. Hey, Kat, since this is the last chance we'll get to talk to you before you come back, I know you had a lot of favorite spots there. I'm not going to make you pick one, but what's the most surprising thing about Iceland that you found? The weather, actually. Um, and I mean, this is coming from a meteorologist saying that. It was 64 degrees yesterday. Glenn, somebody on our crew here, he's standing in shorts right now. Mm. We we don't have the sun right now, but we've actually had really good weather. We've had a lot of sunshine just one day with a little bit of rain. And people here are just so friendly. I can't stress that enough. Oh, somebody that works here, we were chatting. She said I could even pass for Icelandic. So, I mean, maybe I'm starting to fit in here, guys. It's going to be tough to come back. Well, I'll have to drag you back with one of those horses you had earlier. Uh, thank you so much, Kat, for all your reports. Uh, you can catch up on all of Kat's adventures by going to WRL.com or our news app. Just search Iceland.